interpret it on a, a, a runtime system on a VM. Okay. So that makes the code affordable. Got there it. is it is possible to compile the code down to well it is possible to use uh, native extensions. So right. there you can make non portable airline code that you know presumably runs quicker or faster. Um, so you can make airline code that does compile, you know, that does compile down and make it not portable, and it, you know, presumably is a bit faster. You should be your first, the first thing you do. Um, so this brings up another, another sort of thing that you know I learned early on, which is you know start out write your code as as simple as possible, right. and after that make it as beautiful as you possibly can, and after that absolutely have to make it fast. But a lot of the time when you go and you make it elegant, it's going to be fast anyways. Okay. And the other quote which I, I like was, uh, what's fast? Like, if there's only fast enough. Like, right. that's what you need to do. Great. Okay, so...
point, it'd probably be helpful to pull out the, uh, the terminals too and just try some of this stuff. So here we have a equals 10. Uh, a is one variable and it is one bound, you know, or one, you know, actual term, like a realized term. So 10 is a literal. Uh, a is an unbound variable. A equals 10 is a pattern match. It's not just a plain old binding one. Hello? It's not just a plain old binding. So we say A has space enough for one literal. Any literal. It can be a list. It can be that big arbitrary data structure I showed you earlier. A has space for one thing. It stores one thing. And because A is unbound, the pattern match succeeds and A is bound according to the according to the matching specification. Look at the next one. We have a tuple uh, on the left hand side of unbound variables B, C, and D. And on the right, we have a tuple of three literals, 10, foo, and bar. The left hand side there has space enough for exactly three literals enclosed in a tuple. The right hand side is exactly three literals enclosed in a tuple. When we do the pattern match, it succeeds. Both sides are tuples. They have arity three. They kind of fit. You know, it's like that game you played in kindergarten, or maybe some of you played where they gave you the star, the triangle, and the circle, and they gave you a board with a star, and a triangle, and a circle, and you had to figure out which one went into which shape, and it took hours, and it was really difficult. Um, it's exactly like that. So, look at the next one. A, A, and B. I remember that whole algebraic business. If I have A, it must be A, you know, A is A, like Aristotle said. Um, it has to be A the whole way through. It can't be A and B. It can't be 10 and 5. It has to be, in this case, it has to be A and C. So that works because the pattern match works. A is unbound. It binds to ABC. The second A is bound, and it matches ABC. ABC fits right on top of ABC. They don't fail. It doesn't break. So therefore, that pattern works. B is unbound, and B is the third thing in the top of foo. They, they fit right down on top of one another perfectly, so they bind. The third example, or the fourth example, is A, A, B. And the tuple we're trying to fit on top of it is A, B, C, D, E, F, 1, 2, 3. That doesn't work because A is now A, B, C. The second A says, I am bound but I can, you know, match on something. So when I go to put DEF on top of ABC, it's like square peg round hole. It doesn't work, and it will go on exception. Yeah. I'm trying to follow at home here, and the fail, for example, it doesn't, the interpreter doesn't tell me that it failed. Let's, I'm gonna, I'll, I'll go through it in one sec. So let's, I have to put a dot. Oh, yeah. Put, everything has to be, dot tells the, tells the interpreter that an expression is complete, and then it will Oh, so on your shell, yeah. So, so how do I do your B? Okay, now this is something you can only do on the shell. Don't try this in your programs, it won't work. Not a good practice, don't get used to it. It's the wrong way to think. But on the shell, you can do something like, uh, you know what, I'll do it. Give me one second. So let's take a look at the, is that the fifth example? A, B, C, one, two, three in a list. That works. Uh, no problem binding there. We have a list that fits on top of a list. On the left-hand side, we have three unbound variables. On the right-hand side, we have three integer literals. And blam, they fit on top of one another. And A is one, B is two, C is three. The fourth example is a fail on the pattern match because of error. So we have A, B, C, D, all unbound variables. One, two, three, all literals. Both of them are lists. But we can't put them on top of one another because the error on A, B, C, D is four and the arity on this one is three, so there's this leftover spot that you know, doesn't fit, so that's gonna fail. Let's run through these examples. Uh, 